Hi, welcome to our TRX class, Total Resistance Exercise. We're going to review five rules that are very important with the TRX. The TRX, first of all, is there's no slacking. That means you don't want to have these bands loose. The second thing is there's no sawing. That means this part right here, you don't go like this because look what happens to the straps, the handles. One is longer than the other. The third is no chafing. So when you're doing some exercises, you don't want to have the bands chafing against your shoulders or your arms or anything like that. Four and five is your posture. So when we're doing, say, a back row, we don't want to collapse and sink into this. And the same way when we do a chest press, we don't want our hips to fall forward and we don't want that butt to push up in the air. All right, so we're gonna start with the warm up right here. And we're just gonna do some back rows and squats. You're gonna start with those elbows slightly bent. You're gonna sit back into those heels. Now the mistake that a lot of people make is that, look, they pull themselves up and I don't want you to make that mistake. All the weight is in your heels, you're pushing those hips back, your chest is lifted, we're warming up the legs. Look, I have a light, nice little light grip on my straps. I'll do a few more here, squeezing the butt cheeks at the top. My chest is lifted, I get full extension. Oh, let's do two more. Nice job. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to a back row to wake up our back. I'm gonna walk my feet forward. Now, the closer you are towards your anchor point, the more challenging it's gonna be. I'm gonna start with those arms fully extended. Pull that belly button in, and then you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeezing, pushing that chest forward. Now, when I come to the top here, I'm not slacking. Okay, so if you find yourself slacking at the top, maybe you need to walk your feet forward a little more. Waking up that chest, pulling that belly button in. The total resistance exercise that we do it is just your own body weight. So you can make it as easy or as hard as you want to. By doing this exercise here, I'm strengthening my upper back. Look, my full extension with my arms, pressing through my heels. I'm not sinking or collapsing and pulling myself up. I'm gonna do a few more here, abs in, and then we'll turn around, and then we'll wake up the front part of our body. Let's do two more. Lengthen and pull, lengthen and pull. Nice job. Okay, so we're gonna turn around, and you're facing away from the anchor. I'm gonna start with a front lunge, or yeah, we'll start with a, a front lunge. So I'm gonna step forward with my right foot and then open up my arms as I open up my chest. Okay, now, notice my knee. I'm not going here, my heel is down, but I'm opening up my arms. That core is engaged as I step back. I'm pushing through my heel, squeezing those shoulder blades together. This actually feels great opening up that chest. You know why? I'm glad you asked. Because we're always like this, and by opening and squeezing those shoulder blades together, it counteracts that bad posture. We'll do a few more. Let's do one more set, right and left. Good. All right, now I'm gonna hold that right leg in front, bring that right arm up, or no, bring my left arm up, and then I'm gonna lean to the right, stretching out my left side. Notice that my right knee is just above my ankle. Come back to center, and then I'm gonna step back, left leg in front, lunge, Right arm up, and I'm gonna lean to the left, stretching out those hip flexors and that side. And go ahead, come back center, and step back. Now, 
you should have felt a nice stretch right in those hip flexors. So we're moving on here. We're nice and warmed up. We're going to start with a squat and a low row just to continue our movement. Okay, so again with that squat, you want to have those elbows bent. Maybe you want to walk your feet a little bit forward because when we do that low row, rule number one, no slacking. Let's go. Squat, row. Squat, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice work. Pull that belly button in. Remember, the weight is in your heels. Squat and squeeze. Squat and squeeze. Give me two more. Squeeze. Last one here. And squeeze. Good. Now, we're going to turn those palms up and we're going to do bicep curls. All right, now, everybody is used to doing a back row. The difference between the back row and the bicep curl is you want to keep those elbows lifted. We're just taking off the pressure off of our legs, our lower body now. My palms are facing the ceiling. It's a curl. Those elbows stay lifted. Squeezing those biceps at the top. Good. Make sure you squeeze the biceps. Keep the elbows lifted. A lot of times you want to go here, but that's a roll. This way, we keep those elbows lifted. We activate those biceps. Again, my abdominals are engaged. Give me four more here. Exhaling at the top, squeeze those biceps. Keep those elbows lifted. Last one. Good. Now, we're gonna go back to those squats, but this time, we're gonna add some power to it. So you can stay with your basic squat here, or you can squat and jump, okay? You can do those jump squats. You pick which option is good for you. We're gonna do about 12 of them. Ready? Let's go. Keep your chest lifted. You're sitting back in those heels. Remember your option. You can just stay here if you'd like. Five more seconds. And time, good. Now we're gonna go back to those bicep curls. Palms up. Remember, the closer you walk to your anchor, the harder it's gonna be. You wanna keep those elbows lifted. Let's go. Nice work here, guys. Watch that those elbows stay lifted. Check yourself out, we're not here. And at the top, you wanna keep those straps nice and tight. I lost count. So we'll just do a few more. Last one. And nice work. Go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna go back and do that series all over again. Squat low row, bicep curls, jump squats, bicep curls. You ready? All right, elbows close by. Remember to adjust those feet so when you come up into that row, there's no slacking. Here we go. Those legs are hip width apart. Make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. 
Keep those handles even. Don't sink your butt. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice work here, guys. Squeeze. Remember, you can always take a break as needed. Give me four more. Here's three. Hang with me. And two. Nice job. Good. Now we're going to go right into those bicep curls. Palms face up. Arms fully extended. Let's squeeze those biceps. Good. Keep those elbows lifted. Squeeze the biceps at the top. Don't let that butt sink here. And don't push those hips up. Squeeze everything nice and tight. Give me four more. And three. There's two. Last one. Good. All right. Shake everything out. And we've got those squat jumps. All righty, kids. Let's do it. Remember your options. You can be here for your basic squat or down and up. Now remember, we're not using the straps to pull us up. You're pushing through the heels. You're not slacking in the straps either. We're almost there. Stay with me. Three, two, and time. Whew. Nice work. Let's turn around. All right. Shake everything out. We're gonna face away from the anchor. Oh no, we're gonna face the anchor once again. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna continue with our legs. I'm gonna take my right leg and step it back for a curtsy lunge. And then my left leg, okay? You can alternate here and you're pushing through that heel. This is your easier option. If you want to challenge yourself, take that foot off the floor. That's a little more stability required. Ooh. Again, you're pushing through the heel. Light grip on those handles. Keep that knee behind your toe. And there's no slacking. Give me two more sets. Good. Shake it out. All right. So that was kind of, that was called your curtsy lunge. And now we're moving on to do a one leg squat. All right. So we'll stand on that left leg. I'll show you your options. You're going to keep that right or that left. We're standing on the right leg. You're going to keep that left toe on the floor and sit back into those heels. Okay. Now, I don't want you to put a lot of pressure here. It's just a tiny little tap. Option one. Option two, sit back, push through those heels and you'll really feel it in that butt. Again, keep the core in, keep your focus on something still. We've got four more. Keep your chest lifted. Two more. 
and the last one. Good. Shake it out. Alrighty. Moving on. We've got that left leg to do now. So, remember your option. Right toe can stay on the floor. You're sitting back into that left heel. Here's your option one. Now make sure you're pushing through that heel so you really activate that glute. Again, keep that chest lifted. Pull that belly button in. Focus on something still. No slacking. That right knee or left knee is behind your toe. All the weights in that left heel. Push through that heel. We've got four more. And three. And two. Last time. Whew. Go ahead and shake it out. I'm gonna get a drink. Get those drinks as needed, kids. Alrighty. We're moving on. We're going back to those curtsy lunges. Alternating sides. This time, we'll start with that uh, right leg behind. So you're gonna sit back into that right heel. Oops. If you wish, you could pop up. Or you can just stay here or keep that toe on the floor. It's up to you. Give me four more. Last one. Good. Now we're gonna go back to that one leg squat. We'll sit back in that left heel. Let's go. Now if you want to, you can pop up. One more. Ooh. Okay, let's take it to the other side. You can always keep that toe down. Option. Keep the knee lifted. Or add that hop. Oops. Give me two more. Oops. Good. Shake it out. Now we're gonna turn around. All right, kids. Remember, do what you can. Catching my breath. We're gonna work on that upper body. Now again, you step those feet back. The closer they are to the anchor point, the more challenging it'll be. If you're here, just lean forward or you can always have that one leg in front as your option. Otherwise, arms start out fully extended, pull that belly button in. Let's go. Now be careful that you're not sawing. Remember, we don't want those handles to get longer than the other. And watch, I'm not doing this. I'm up on my toes. My core's engaged. Nice job. One more. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna do some chest flies. Those palms are gonna be to face each other. Again, you're gonna walk those legs out. What's a fly? Out. Squeeze the chest and bring those palms together. There we go. 
Now where I want you to feel this, all in here, through that chest. Open. Sure, you can walk your feet back really far, but if your form is not perfect, then I'd rather you do a few good ones than a lot of bad ones. Open. Open. Give me a couple more. Last time. Good. Now, we're gonna combine those two. One arm is gonna do your chest fly. The other arm is gonna do your chest press. So watch me first. My right arm is gonna do my press. My left arm is gonna be out to the side. Looks like this, okay? Now my left arm bends my right arm out to the side. Good, keep alternating. Pull that belly button in. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Don't sink your hips. Alternate those arms. Now if this is too much, you can always go back to that chest press for your chest fly. Keep those abs in. Gonna do two more sets. Last one. Good. Go ahead and shake it out. Maybe you wanna step forward. Stretch out that chest. Remember, we're not slacking in the arms or the handles, the straps at all. We'll do another set of those. Again, we're gonna start with that chest press. We'll go to the chest fly, and then we'll do that combo. Chest press, arms straight, palms face behind you where they face the floor, and let's go. Again, we're not doing this. Okay, and really don't do this. This is not good at all. Pull that belly button in. I want you to think of your body as stiff as a board, like a plank, okay? Watch that you're not sawing with those arms. Really squeeze that chest together. We got one more. Good, now we're gonna move on to that fly. Open and squeeze the chest. Open wide and squeeze. Remember, do what you can. I'm glad you're here with us with the TRX today. Don't forget to make uh, comments below. We're almost ready. And last time, good, shake it out. Now we're gonna do that combo. This time, that left arm is gonna do the press and the right arm is gonna do that fly. Are we ready? Let's go. Whoops, I was sawing a little bit. Pull that belly button in. Really make that upper body work. Stay focused on something still. Almost there. One more set each side. And last one. Whew. Alrighty. Step forward. Stretch it out. Oh, nice job. And over, and maybe you wanna give your back a nice little stretch here. Good, now if you have a mat, go on and grab your mat, we're coming to the floor. We're gonna do some hamstring curls, all right? And I like to have my foot 
Well, these are a little longer, but I like the, the strap to be right at the top of my foot. We're gonna do some hamstring curls. So I'm gonna put my heel in the cradles here. All right. Now I'm getting, moving my butt closer to the anchor. Now here's your easiest option, option one. Pull the knee into your chest or just pull those knees into your chest. Keep that low back into the mat. Okay, those hands are by your side. Option one. Now, option two. We want to lift those hips up, pull those knees in, and extend. Now you'll for surely feel the love in those hamstrings. That's why we call these hamstring curls. Belly buttons in. You can always challenge yourself. Belly button's engaged. Keep those hips up, up off the floor. Give me four more here. And three, and two, and nice job. Hold it up there. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Woo! Certainly feel the love in those hands. And for you ladies, Great for that cellulite. Alrighty, so we're moving on here. We're just gonna do one leg at a time now. Again, low back into the mat, one knee in. Option one, okay? Keep that butt down, make sure that low back's into the mat. Otherwise, lift those hips. I want you to think of this as a reverse mountain climber, okay? Those hips are lifted. Give me two more sets. Last one. And lower. Whew. Nice job. Go ahead and stretch out those hands. Feel the love. Good. All right, moving on. What would a TRX class be without some push-ups or some abdominal work? Although we've been working on our abdominals the whole time. We're gonna turn over. I'm gonna put my left foot in one strap, my right foot in the other, and I'm gonna turn around. No, it was right the first time. What up in here? There we go. All right. So you can always start here. Make sure your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. I'm on my knees. Maybe you want to give me some push-ups here. Otherwise, take those feet off the floor and give me a push-up. Don't sink your hips. Two more. Good. Come on down, you can always sit back on those heels, stretch out those arms. Now we're gonna do, move on and do some abdominal work. So, we're gonna do an, either a tuck or a pike and then we'll add some push-ups to it, okay? All right, wrist directly underneath your shoulders. Extend those legs. Option one, just a tuck, okay? Option two, your pike. Now, adding on, you can do your Tuck and a push up. A pike and a push up. Okay? You pick which option works for you. 
my wrist. Keep going. In, push up. In, push up. Give me two more. In, push up. In, and push up. Woo. Good. Alrighty. We're gonna do some oblique work. And then we'll finish up with our triceps. So, you doing okay? I'm hanging in there. All right, so, you're gonna turn your legs. This is hard, because I'm sawing. Make sure that elbow directly underneath your shoulder, belly button in. Go ahead and lift. Arm up. You can always tap down as an option. Good. We'll do the other side. Remember, you can always bring those knees to the floor. Those toes are going to face the other way. You're going to lift those hips. Make sure that elbow is directly underneath those shoulders. And begin. Tap. Squeeze, ribs and hip bones together at the top. Stay with me. We're almost there, guys. Give me four, three, two, last one, and lower. Whew. Nice job. Okay. We're going to do one more oblique exercise. I'm uh, just going to single out my handles. I'm going to face away from you so you can see exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so you're going to have those handles, they stay on your head. The closer you walk your feet toward the anchor, the harder it will be. I want you to keep those hands on your head. You're going to sink your hip and lift. You really are squeezing those open. Stay with me. Exhale as you pull yourself up. We have four more. And three, two, and last time. Good. Ready for the other side? Alrighty, hand on your head. Walk your feet closer to the anchor, down and up. Keep those shoulders back. Nice job, we're almost done. Two, last one, oh, good. And I promise some triceps. So let's get them out of the way, okay? You're gonna start with those arms up, <clears throat> about shoulder height, walk your feet back. Keep the elbows lifted, keep the elbows in. You're gonna bring those hands to your temples. Lean and push away. 
abs in, don't sink your hips. Don't let the elbows flare, okay? Oh, that's fine. And then four more. Elbows in, here's two. Last one. Nice work. Go ahead and stretch it all out. Maybe bend those knees, stretch out that low back. We're almost done. Step that right leg back. Whoops, I'm going to my... Step that right leg back. Stretch out those hip flexors like we started with here. And switch, other leg in front. Stretch. Nice job. One more time. Let's straighten that leg. And let's look underneath that armpit. And switch. And come back to center. And release that. Thank you so much, guys. You did a great job. We'll see you next week. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe.